Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 98 and if you haven't already guessed this is post commentary indeed it is post commentary so I'm Anubis from Anubis Lost Players and also from CSU Productions and when we had last taken off we defeated the ultimate mark known as Yizamat and we had obtained as you saw before from the video because this is fast forwarded the God Slayer's badge which is what we obtained from him and of course we need three badges in order to obtain a kick ass ultimate weapon so now in this part we will be going to the bottom of Guru Vagan to obtain the second badge and also to obtain one of the best shields in game, if not the best shield, known as the Zodiac Escuchion, which gives you 55 evade and also gives you immunity to electrical attacks, which is indeed kick ass. So, basically, um, first things first, some of you are like, Nubis, why, why, why do you fast forward the video? That's a silly thing to do. Yeah, it might be, but I mean, at least you got some sort of commentary, because first things first, my commentary in the original video sucked ass, just saying that. And also went for at least over one hour, and splitting the video into two to three parts just to, just for this boss, or should I say the super boss at the least, and the shield, isn't really worth it. And the second thing, my voice may sound different, it does sound different, that is because my old headset due to some unfortunate circumstances, which I'm sure one or two of you may know, and you're probably laughing, Vukasophy, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, fell off of my table, and of course broke, due to me having terrible luck. So instead I went and brought myself a new headset, uh, that being the World of Warcraft Sound Blaster headset, I believe, for some of you who are curious, and for others who didn't, well, tough cookies, because I said it. And that's pretty much it. So, now on to the main part of the video. Basically what I'm do doing here is creating a path um, so I can get from the, as you saw then, get to the Aquarius Gate and unlock that and then go to the Taurus Gate, which is of course where the Super Duper Boss is and the Zodiac Escuchion. Basically what you need to do is once you create a path, like an M zigzag shaped path so you can get from the left hand side of Guru Vagan where the Taurus Gate Stone is to the right hand side where the Taurus Gates are, uh, that's what you're trying to do overall. Uh, now here, I, as you can see, I cut the video and came back to where Ultima was lo Ultima's location is. And here I'm killing a rare known as the Evil Spirit. It's not really a rare because I saw about four or five of them overall. So, and as you'll see in a moment, um, you'll see another one when I actually go up past here, I believe. So um, that is interesting. And also, as you can tell, you'll be listening to some Persona music. Why? Because Persona is awesome. Just saying. So there's another Evil Spirit. And basically, in this part, I touch the Aquarius Gate Stone and I'm going to Aquarius Gate 2. Do not do that. It's a bad idea. <laughs> uh, Aquarius Gate 2, I was touching the Gate Stone, or the Gateway, in, my, in actual fact, uh, to create myself a path so I can reach the other Taurus Gates. There was really no need for that, because I'd already created myself a path using um, the Capricorn Gate Stone and also the Libra. Well, not Libra, li uh, Virgo and Libra. Yes, indeed. Anyhow. So, basically, once you create your path, which I'll show you in a moment, there's a Libra Gate Stone right there. If you run down here, is the Waystone 16, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Alright, here's the Aquarius Gate 2. There's no need to unlock this, um, because it's sort of pointless. As some of you may or may not know, there's the Virgo Gate Stone. Uh, if you unlock one Gate Stone, for, or Gateway, I should say, you get them both mixed up, which is really weird. Um, if you unlock one gateway, for example, gateway 1, gateway 2 will be locked, and vice versa. So, yeah, <laughs> so I just screwed up there. But anyhow, I cut the video and went back to where Ultima's located, or the location of where she is, which is near Gatestone 20, I believe. And touch the Aquarius Gatestone again, and it's time to run to Aquarius Gate 1. And Aquarius Gate 1 is where the Taurus Gate Stone is located. So this is a lot of backtracking, people. Anyway, as you can see on this map, which I put up on screen, uh, to the right-hand side, uh, where it says Gate uh, Waystone 21, I believe, or 22, I believe it's 21. That's where the Super Duper Boss is. And the chest, of course, is where the Zodiac Escuchion is. So Taurus Gate Stone 2 is where the chest is, and Taurus Gate Stone 1 is where the Super Duper Boss is. So if you're going for the chest like I am, highly recommend doing it because it's worth it. If you do that, you will need to backtrack back to the Taurus Gate Stone and unlock it again. So yeah, here we go, defeating the Skull Wyverns here, running straight ahead. Uh, I took the right path from Ultima. And here's the Ash Wyvern again, let's kill it because honestly, no one likes Ash. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, so this commentary is going to be really arbitrary and weird because it's post commentary as you can already tell. Uh, but there's the Gate Stone or Gateway 1, uh, gone. 
Skull Wyvern, and he confuses me, and I believe Pinello. Yep, Pinello dies because his Zodiac Spear is overpowered. And while I'm recording this, I'm listening to the Persona music, and it's kick ass. So, so distracting my commentary. Anyhow, so here is the Taurus Gate Stone. This is what you need to touch. So, what I do now, I believe, is I cut the video. Yep, and now it's time to go to Taurus Gate 2. And once we make it to Taurus Gate 2, uh, we can get the chest, finally, and get the kick ass shield, the Zodiac Escuchion. So, defeat the Ash Wyvern again. Run back through the path we've just been through. And I believe we turn right here, which leads us to the Libra Gate Stone. And then I turn left again because I've already taken down the Capricorn Gate 2, which will lead me to the Taurus Gate area. Uh, this song, if you people were wondering, is a poem for everyone's soul within Persona 3, which is an amazing song, if I do say so myself. Or music, piece of music, I, sh I should say. But anyhow, so we head down here. And there's another Ash Wyvern. So, say hello to it. And kill it, because that's what we like to do. So down this path, head down the wrong path here. Taurus Gate 1 is here, and this is where it leads to the Super Duper Boss. We do not want to go here. You want to skip those Forbidden, because Forbidden are a pain in the ass. You want to turn right here, and you want to go up. Upwards to the Taurus Gate 2, which is where the Zodiac Escuchion chest is. Now this chest, highly, highly, highly recommend telling you all now, have a diamond armlet. You need to have a diamond armlet because it makes it 100% chance that you'll get the shield in the first place. The chest is a 20% spawn chance, so you will need to zone away three zones and come back. It took me around 40 plus tries, like around 20-30 minutes just to spawn it. It is a pain in the ass, but it is worth it. I'm saying that now. Now, if you don't get the Zodiac Escuchi on, the other item you can get is the Brave Suit, which is what I was telling you about. This chest is where you can get the second Brave Suit in-game. It's not worth it, to be honest, because if you get the Brave Suit, that's all well and good that you'll have two. But to find the Zodiac Escuchion in the game, I believe it's in a, um, I believe it's in the Barham Passage or some other place like that. It's basically like the Zodiac Spear. The spawn rate and obtaining it is ridiculous. So it's easier to get it here. There you go, 55 evade and has, or 50 evade, I should say. Sorry, that was my bad. And, um, gives you immunity to electricity, which is kick-ass. And equipping it with the Deathbringer, or Durandal, if you have the ultimate sword in game, is a fearsome combo indeed. So, now it's time to touch the Taurus Gate Stone, which I cut back ahead, I just ran back to the other side. And now it's time to get up to the Super Duper Boss. And with this music playing in the background, you can sort of tell that it's, you know, becoming all serious. Serious shiz is about to happen, people. Alright, so, same thing, just run back down, uh, take the same path. Basically, that's all it is in Guru Vegan. Um, if you want, you can refer to the map, which I had posted back in the video a few minutes or so ago. And just refer to that. It's basically backtracking and going in M sort of shape, from um, Virgo to Libra and all the way to Taurus and Aquarius. And now all we need to do is head straight down. And here we have Taurus Gate 1, which is where the Super Duper Boss is. And now it's back to the normal commentary. So, enjoy. Alright people, I'm back. So sorry, just had to cut it then because I was going to go change my gambits and that, but um, here we go. So this is it. This is the equipment I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Van. He's going to have Mass Immune and Genji Gloves, so he's going to be my attacker. I've given him the Dueling Mask just because, as you can see, compared to wearing normal gear, Dueling Mask gives 800 plus HP. So that's, you know, major bonus and I definitely want to have something like that. Of course we have the Genji Gloves because um, Genji Gloves, you know, multiple hits, it's what you want. Uh, Bosh is going to be attacking as well, but he's also going to be healing and doing some little buffs. And likewise with Pinello, so that's the equipment sort of setup got. 
Gambit's uh, van's going to be the main attacker, as you can see. He's got a rise and phoenix down for anyone who faints. Uh, charge when his MP is equivalent to 10% or below. And foe attack any. Uh, Pinello is basically the same as ba uh, Bash, except instead of Protect Gar, she has Haste Gar. So, you get a rise. Kronos tier when the allies got stop. Kiraja on anyone when they're 50% HP. 10% uh, of the MP they use charge. Remedy if they've got sap. Um, which, which, I don't really think I need that. No, I don't. So I don't know why I have it. And I need to put a Shuna in there as well. So what does she have? Ally any Shuna. So let's do that. And there we go. And what all the is that in? Okay, cool. So Protectica, uh, ally any Ishuna. You've got ally any Bravery, ally any Bubble, and then Foe Attack. So you want to basically have Van buffed. He's going to be the one who's doing most of the damage. Now, I'm going to say this now as a heads up. You must use the move or the technique exposed on this boss. When it gets to HP critical, it puts a crap ton of defensive buffs on itself. Not like Protect, but like HP critical defense. The damage you'll be doing is ridiculously low. And also, it increases the amount of damage it can do from 4 to 5k damage up to 7k, meaning it can basically two shot you or one shot you if you don't have bubble on. So, this boss is dangerous. And without further ado, it's time to verse the super boss of Giru Vagan to ascertain our second badge. Now, this boss is so badass, it doesn't even need an intro cutscene. And. It is none other than that beautiful thing over there, and only as Omega Mark 12. Now, to show you how awesome Vanishigar is, he cannot see us. The Omega Mark 12 cannot see us, which is why Vanishigar is pretty freaking awesome. So, first things first, what we want to do is, where's Expose? I want everyone to use Expose on this guy. We need to lower his defenses. Miss, miss, miss. What? What? That is not good, people. We need to use Expose again. So I'm just going to have Van doing that. There we go. See if we can use it again. I need to have Bash and Pinello healing because, as you can see, the damage he does piles up pretty fast. And also, as a heads up, people, you need to watch out. His normal attacks have a chance of inflicting Berserk on your characters. Which, well, for Van's case, that's not so bad. But then again, it is because he has a rise and Phoenix down. As you can see, Barsh is going to die now. Because he's one of my healers, and Pinello won't have enough time to heal him up. There you go. So get one more expose off if I can. Okay, good, good. I'll see if I can um weaken its strength. That'd be good. It's immune to it. Right, so it's only... um. Expose its defense that can be lowered. So let's basically take it down now. You can steal from it, but I'm going to say it's going to take you a few tries to steal from it. So honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Go on, get me healed. Awesome. Also, another side note when your characters attack and also when um, Omega Mark attacks, you're lucky because it actually um, regens some of your MP, which is a good thing because now that I'm not using the reverse or decoy tactic, uh, reverse heals you, but you don't gain any MP when it hits you. So that's why I put charge on when your MP reaches 10%. And also, if some of you were wondering, this tactic basically involves defeating it within around 5 to 10 minutes. And some of you are like, 5 to 10 minutes, that's impossible because you're dying so many times. Trust me, it is possible. I mean, look, it's only been like three or so minutes from the fight itself, and we've already taken out nearly a quarter of its bar. You just need to get some good hits off. Come on, get the heal off, or attack someone else if you can. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, Pinello used Haste Gar, that'd be good. Or oh, Kiraja, good job, that's even better. Come on, buff characters up. No, damn it! Keep Van attacking. Berserk, not good. Uh, 
Alright, Nellie's Berserk, that's not good indeed, but I guess it'll have to do. Alright, Farge is dead. And basically that's all there is to it with this. Now, to let you all know as well, um, its attacks, you don't need to dispel it because it hasn't got any buffs on, but its attacks, I believe, when it reaches HP critical, do get faster. So, it's pretty dangerous overall. As you can see from the amount of damage that it's doing. Come on people, get your heals off. Dave Man's gonna die again. Come on, hit Van, not Bash. Damn it. Use Protect Guard, good. Healer, come on. Awesome, now that's what I'm talking about. Just keep everyone buffed. Actually, wait. You have Ginger Gloves, Bubble Belt, good. I was just checking people have uh, Bubble Belts on because if they don't, then that's really stupid. Just full stop. Bar, she's charged, good. Oh, heal yourself, that's even better. nearly at half health now, it's lost over 500,000 health. And also, on another side note, uh, which I keep saying a lot because I don't really have anything else to talk about, my commentary is terrible, I'm really sorry. But this boss, when you defeat it, do not leave. If you want that badge, you need to stay back and pick it up. I don't know how many times I've seen videos where people have just killed the boss, gone sweet, yeah, I defeated one of the most ultimate bosses, or should I say super bosses of the game, they walk out and they lose the badge, the second badge you need to create one of the best weapons in game. And wow! Took up a chunk of health right there. Alright, so here we go. He's going to be going into HP critical mode soon. So yeah, you need to pick up that badge or else you're going to be kicking yourself afterwards. And from wherever you save last, you're going to have to go through all the puzzles again just to get back here. Damn it, not good. Not good now when he's going to be doing a lot of damage. That's really not good. Yeah, okay, that screwed me over a bit. So as you can see as well, if you run around and dodge it, you can spin it? Why isn't it attacking me? Okay, that was really weird. Spin around, little spidey thing. Oh, come on, heal me, heal me, heal me. Go, Pinello. Oh, wow, that was like 0.1 of a second off. And you one shot Van. Holy shit. Come on, now's your chance. Or not. Go on, Van's berserk now. Oh, I thought you were going to get a chain off. And we're nearly at 10 minute like mark for the video, so I'm hoping I can kill it within the next minute. Heal Bosh, go go. Good job. Is dead. Come yeah, on, Penelope, get the heal off. Good job. Let's give it to Vaughn. Seriously, this is barely any damage. I'm considering just using a mist summoning. 
How much health is it on anyway? Good job, man. Keep it up. It's nearly dead, not long now. Not much now, a little bit to go. Come on people, this is basically one of the final bosses we're going to be versing. Because then all we got to do is click the ultimate weapons and then it's time to verse the final boss of the game. Come on man, you can do it. Finish it off. Come on. Yes! And it dropped the loot as you can see. So, the recording says I've done it for about 12 minutes or so, so that's not bad. It wasn't necessarily 10 minutes, but meh. It's a bit messy, but it's fine, at least it killed it. And the Omega Mark 12 goes dormant. It doesn't die, it goes dormant. <laughs> but, <laughs> wow, you're looking at your hand. I think that's an understatement. You were shot with frickin' laser beams. I'd be looking at your chest. Not even that. Maybe your head? Congratulations is an understatement. So, yes, defeated the one of the super bosses in game, or the super boss. One male health, level 99, and basically rapes the living shit out of you. So, like I was saying, if you have a look where it once was. Dun dun dun, let's go up and pick it up. An Omega Badge. Yes, the Omega Badge. I've seen so many people who skip that, and I feel really sorry for you if you have. So we've got two badges. Badge of Water for Felling the Legendary Weapon. The Omega Mark 12, the sign of a true hero of Ivalice. So that is interesting. Mark of a true knight, and the mark of a hero. Alright, so that pretty much do it for a part. Now we're going to run back to the save crystal and get the frick frack and frocking out of this place. So, I'm Nubis from Nubis Place, also from CNC Productions. You have been watching Let's Play Final Fantasy 12, Part 98. I'll see you next time on part 99, where we will obtain the last badge, which is from basically a side quest which isn't as painful or excruciating as the last part or this parts. So, you can rest for now, I guess. Enjoy it while it lasts. So, have a fantastic day, and goodbye.